What's going on YouTube? This is K Reese here. Today I got the UTG DC series tactical case. This is a 34 inch case and it fits it's for your assault rifle type weapons, AR-15s, uh, stuff like that. It's, it's not long enough for a long weapon. Um, if you have like a long hunting rifle like I do, um, one of mine, I got a 30 alt 6 This case will not fit that rifle. I have another UTG case um, that I will review for y'all. It's all black, but that's what I have that one in. I bought this case because I had my Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 in a case that I wasn't really too happy about, didn't really like the case, and uh, so I got this one for it, and I wanted to go ahead and show it to y'all and let y'all check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this plastic off and get this thing open. Alright, so we got this thing open. And the end of it, if you look at it, it's a little bent up. It's because when they had it in the box, when they shipped it to me, it was, they had it folded over like this. So, that'll lay out flat over time. But what you have here, y'all, go ahead and show you all the tag. Everybody likes to see the tags. Most durable and attractive case. And it's got the different colors they have it in. Black, Army Digital, Woodland Digital, OD Green, and Dark Earth. Same thing on the back. I have on the inside. Show us something in here. Tell us about it. Well, here you go. Your carry handle at the top. Shoulder strap. It's also got a shoulder strap. And I do like that. You know, if you're going out, taking it, um, you know, taking it out to put in the truck of the car, or taking it out to the range, you can take that shoulder strap and put it over your shoulder and it's uh, really comfortable it frees your hands up where you don't have to have to try to carry the gun the magazine pouches we got one two three four five of those and from my experience the one that I have my AR-15 in you can actually and the, you can see this velcro is very very strong on these you can actually put two magazines in these. I have some 20 round magazines and I stuff them and you know, they fit down in here and I, I actually put two to a pouch in uh, for my, my AR-15 for that case. And it's like this one also, It's but it's all black, but it is a UTG case. Um, got a D-ring back here on the back. They show you right here. We also have the heavy duty zippers, and these zippers on this thing, y'all, are are pretty heavy duty. I really like them. I've never had a problem with the uh, the zippers on them, but you can, as you can see, they they're real real thick. They zip real good. I'll open this up for y'all in a second. Um, name card pocket right here, but there you go to the side. Some people. Uh, I know I got a friend of mine, he likes to take and put, you know, he'll take, he's got a red dot side on one of his, and he likes to take and put, you know, the extra batteries and stuff inside this, inside this pouch right here. So, anyway. Um, and it goes in here, it's got, tells you the features, it's water resistant, heavy duty shell, constructed with super durable water resistance, 1680 or 1200 denier PVC for the outer shell. Carry handle and shoulder strap includes a 1.5 inch reinforced one piece wrap around carry handle and a one and a half inch shoulder strap. Reinforced thread and stitching and edging. Entire case is sewn with reinforced threads, about six stitches per inch for extra durability. Tough nose is reinforced tip for long lasting wear. Check out the nose of it. And it is the whole, the entire case is, it's very, very, very solid along the bottom and I, I really like this you can about take a gun and just kind of sit in it and this case is so hard it sits right down protects it very well this is the shoulder strap I was telling y'all about it can be adjustable but you just take it 
I lay it over my shoulder, just put my arm through it, and it, and it'll just it'll hang right there with you. Okay. Get back to this. Generous capacity for optimal storage space. Tough back support by long-lasting wear. Accessory pockets feature easy pull top cover D-rings and lockable zipper. Number 10 super quality zipper with two heavy-duty zipper heads to resist clogging and snagging and prevent scratching guns. And I will tell you, one of the reasons I got this case, the case that I have uh, my rifle in currently, I got a scope I'm going to mount. I'll show you all that. It's a Redfield um, Battlefield uh, for a 22 long rifle. I'll do a review of that video as well and show you all how that works out. Um, the reason I got this, one, the case that I have with the rifle, the bottom of the rifle is here. The top did not have enough spot to actually mount optics on it. It would, the case wouldn't close and if it did it would be really tight and it would be bumping and I don't want to do that. I'm putting a nice scope on a nice gun. I'm not going to mess it up with a cheap case. So I got this case. It's very nice. If you can see, I'll try to show y'all, it's very padded. The whole, the whole side, I mean the whole around the case has got a lot of foam padding in it. So I'm going to go ahead and, sorry, I'm trying to hold this camera and do this at the same time. Try to open this up. Okay, so I got that off. Boy, these this Velcro on this case, the, this is some serious Velcro, y'all. I mean, it takes about two hands to get this stuff open, and that's really, really good. Um, you don't have to worry about it falling open when you don't want it to. So, heavy-duty zippers, as y'all can see. All right, open this thing up. Man, look at that. And you can just see see the amount of padding that goes into this I mean it is boy I wish y'all could feel this it is very very soft I will be happy having my gun sit in this case a little pack in here these little silica gel beads to help keep moisture out very very nice y'all very nice case This Velcro. D rings on the Velcro. Ah. Y'all can see that. Alright, so again I said, you know, it's about two magazines to one of these pouches. They'll hold a 30 round mag easy. Um like I said, I got some twenties for mine. I use it for for that. I also have a couple of thirties in my other one. Um so yeah, it'll it'll work great. Um, if y'all have any questions about it or y'all want to know anything else, just post it in the comments. I'll answer it as soon as I can. But um, this is my review of the case. Once I get the other video done of mounting the scope on my gun, and I'll get it put in here and I'll do an update and show y'all how it looks, um, how everything fits, what I think about it. I have cases, like I said, that are similar to this. I have three other cases, UTG cases. Um, and uh, if y'all want to know, you know, know anything about them, just post in comments. Um, but yeah, this case is, I know they're pretty good cases because I already own some. That's why I got this one. Um, but this is my video, y'all. Thanks for watching. Um, rate, comment, like the video if, if y'all like it. It helps y'all out. Um, subscribe to see more videos.